Good morning, everybody. Um, it's morning where I'm at. I don't know what time of day or where you are, but I'm on the West Coast, and it's early. Pouring rain, again, always. Winter time. El Nino winter. El Nino. Um, warmer weather. What do they call those things that you, they're always talking about? Uh, jet, uh, man. Rivers. Air rivers. Freaking, I can't remember. But I've never really heard the weather term before. And lately it's all they ever talk about. And I don't know what it is. So, never mind. So, what's going to go on today is we have Thousand Trails membership. You have to be in your camper every night except for medical reasons. So, we got an exception. And we are going to be gone for a few nights. I don't like leaving my house, but it is a guarded community, and we have insurance, and I also don't really have anything to sell, steal. You think they'll steal Jerry? Maybe I should take him with me. Jerry wants to go. So, we don't have to worry about that now. We're going to Portland, and Providence Hospital is super cool. They hooked us up with a free hotel room across the street from the hospital. I think it's a hospital hotel. I don't know. Um, I'm grateful, but I am leery that the other residents attending and staying and being there. I'm worried it's going to be really depressing and sad. Um... Just being honest, it, I, I don't like going to the cancer clinic. I don't like going to the oncologist's office because I don't feel like I look sick like that yet. I can't do anything about those. But these people are covered in bruises and they have bandages everywhere from where they give blood so much. And they're just covered in bruises and their feet look so distressed and sad and there's people in wheelchairs and and I'm not losing my hair and I'm so grateful but it freaks me out to see the end I guess or closer to the end or what you look like before you recover and then it's not your end I don't want to project like that but when I see people who look so much closer to what you think of when you think of stage 4 cancer it really hurts my heart it hurts my heart for them and it hurts my heart for me so I'm not crazy about it so anyway enough of that um I did finish this little herb uh, giant jack. It's pretty good. So, and I added some, I know I put up a little video about it, but I thought it looked so much cuter once it had a few of the more accessories that it was supposed to have. So, like, I made a sign. Okay, so to begin with, um, I decided that this wonderful gentleman has donated to me, uh, herb, flowers to smoke. Because I don't grow anymore. I'm not a grower and I don't have anywhere to grow. And I was baking this and I thought, man, this would be great for him. So I put the name of his uh, dispensary. I don't want to show that um, on there on one side. But I also put his ooh, initials on the sign. This is just terrible lighting. I live in a cave. And so, okay, let's see here. There's a, I made a little Adirondack chair with, like, a butterflies and a heart that were wooden. Okay, so there's a little chair. And then here's the little work basket. You know, I need my glasses so I don't know if this video is in focus. 
And so then there's a little fairy. I'm going to glue her down maybe. So anyway, I just put up a video about it, but I thought it was a lot cuter once it had the sign and the fairy and the little chair. Oh, it's all crooked. She's been smoking her work. <laughs> oh, shit. I just broke off a chunk. God dang it. Well, I love glue. So, oh, no. Um... I'm going to fix the broken part, put it up, stop fooling with it. So I'm going to Portland, um, check-ins at 4 p.m. And check-out is noon? Anyway, they said check-in from 4 to 8 p.m. I think it takes us like two hours to get there. So um, that's where we're headed. Tomorrow morning, I get a uh, ultrasound of my thyroid. Boom! And then the next day, I get um, a bone scan, an imaging contrast scan, and another type of imaging contrast scan. And one, you get an IV with nuclear stuff that lights up, and then the other one, you get to drink a bunch of stuff. But there's three scans on one day. And then tomorrow, I have the ultrasound of my thyroid, and then I have three scans the next day, back-to-back. -back. One's for bones. Oh, and then the other two types that I've already had already. I guess a CT scan and a PET scan. I don't know. I should probably know more about my appointments. So that's what's going on in the big, whole, wide world of cancer. Woo! Nothing. Oh, well, a lot. I'm nervous about going to these appointments. Um, not really that the doctor gave me a Valium to take before. I have severe needle anxiety phobia. And so he gave me a diazepam, uh, generic Valiums. Give me that good stuff. And so um, I've taken a couple to gauge how long they take to kick in and how I feel once they have, blah, blah, blah. And either I'm heavy or my tolerance is really high, but a 10 milligram diazepam does not knock me out, knock me down, or affect me in a hard way. It really just stops, it stops me from thinking about all the dogs that I've lost over my life, and it helps me to stop thinking about happens after you're dead. And uh, just that internal dialogue that just won't quite stop. So, um, they were helpful for that. Oh, yeah. That is good. Gotta fix a little broken spot. So, yeah, um, they're good for that. Other than that, uh, I'm not so nervous about the other scans, I guess. Uh, I don't really want to do them, but I want the results. And then, in a week, I go meet with the doctor, and we discuss everything that he found. However, they have this amazing thing called the portal. And you can see all of your test results and all of your information as soon as it's available. And with technology, those things are usually before I get to the car. So when I go get tests and scans and stuff, a lot of times I can see the test results in the parking lot. Which is freaking amazing. But I can see them, like, a week before I go see my doctor, which gives me time to Google all the words and imagine the worst and, you know, all that jazz. So, that's what I'm going to go do. And it's rainy and boring. we got to drive to Portland. I think it takes like about two hours. I have crushed a bottle of glue, glue y'all. I mean crushed. However, I have an adorable little cottage. A cool little sidewalk. I've learned so much about <coughs> uh, glue and wood glue. I've never worked with either. Um, I am building an apothecary room. I got these little jars. That's a whole nother video. I'm just rambling, bored, all by myself. But anyway, here's the, the floor. That's the foundation. And if you don't think that took a lot of work, 
You're crazy. This felt on the bottom hides a lot of effort. I'm going to show you that. However, it looks really cool. Um, I woke up this morning and I found Jerry standing on it. So Brian got up in the middle of the night and turned it into a little stage, which brought me joy. And so, um, that's where we're at. That's what's going on. I'm going to start building the apothecary. I actually don't kind of want to go to Portland because I want to sit and glue stuff, which is ridiculous. But I'm enjoying it quite a bit. Uh, there we go. Fix that break. Glue. Gotta love glue, bruh. So, drip down into the cracks. And fix it. Make it so. And then to cover up the glue, I take some of this amazing reindeer moss. Chop it up very small and hide my mistakes. And I thought I had a little, oh, I do. I have a little tray of it that I've already chopped up. Oh, don't smoke the flat of the uh, moss. It looks like something you'd smoke. Oh, yeah. These are those little hearts and butterflies. Okay, so there's like a little leaf, a little heart, and a little butterfly. These are all at the dollar store. $1.25 and I got quite a few of all of them and so the gazebo that I am also building and the freaking thing looks pretty cool the foundation that's the floor the stand the base so I'm gonna take these I don't know if I'm gonna take little, actually I think I'm gonna take the leaves because I think they would make a really cool rail and somewhere along the edge. Anyway, ideas. Rambling. I am. I'm nervous about going to Portland. I got a lot to say. And I don't really have anything to say. So, I want to take all this stuff with me. And load it up. But Brian is like, what? We're going to be there for three days. We have nothing to do except these tests. I actually kind of want to leave as soon as one of the tests I'm sprinkling moss on the glue um one of the tests is well, all the three scans that i have done on the second day the first day i just have a thyroid ultrasound at like 7 30 in the morning and then we don't have anything else to do until the next day so we've got a day in portland to crush and a zero dollars and it's winter so um I was thinking it made sense to take my sticks, but we'll see. I'm also a grown-ass woman. I'll pick that toad up, put it in the truck if I want, and uh, sticks there will be. So, yeah, that's it. Long video. Peace. Love. Update. Boop, boop, boop.